So in this part, we are going to take a look at another sensor, which is called DHT11, that allows us to get the temperature and the humidity at the same time using one pin. And this sensor is really useful in so many projects. We need to get the temperature and the humidity of the surrounding area. We are going to display these values using the Tony IDE. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So in today's episode, we're going to use the Raspberry Pi Pico, or you could use the Raspberry Pi Pico W with the Wi-Fi capability. And we're going to use the DHT sensor. This one is called DHT11, but you could use the other version, which is the DHT22. It's really easy to use and hook up because it comes with three pins. Let's take a look at the back of this sensor. We have 3.3 volts that goes to the 3.3 volts of the Pico. The GND goes to the ground to power up the module. And we are going to get the data from the data pin, which is the middle pin. We're going to hook it up to one of the pins of the Pico, like the pin number 14. The 3.3 volts out is right here. It's the pin number 4, or it's the pin number 5 from top to bottom. You could use any of the ground pins. And I'm going to use the GPIO pin number 14 to get the data. And I want to mention that there is another version of this sensor, which comes with four pins. So here you need to pay attention because we didn't have the labels. The VCC is going to be the left pin. Make sure to connect it to the 3.3 volts. The ground is the right pin. And the data pin is the pin number two from the left side. We don't need to use the pin number three. So make sure to hook it up like this or you are going to uh, destroy or fire the sensor. Here they are using another pin. It's the pin number 18, but you could connect it to the pin number 14 if you want. I'm gonna take one of these jumper wires to connect the VCC to the 3.3 volts. As I said, it's the pin number five from this side. The middle pin is the data that goes to the GPIO pin number 14. And finally, we have the ground that goes to the ground, and there you go, it is powered up. Now we can move on to the Tony IDE to write the code and get the temperature and the humidity. The same thing, we have to import few libraries that we're gonna use. The first one is the machine library, using import machine, and we're gonna use the DHT uh, sensor library by importing it using import DHT. Luckily, this library comes built in with the IDE, so you don't need to install it. Next, we are going to create an object of type DHT by using the DHT11 class from this library. I'm going to call it uh, sensor equals DHT dot DHT11. Make sure it's uppercase. And in here, we have to pass in the pen using the machine dot pen class. And in these parentheses, we put the pen number, which is 14. Then we are going to use the while loop that is called over and over again so that we can read these values continuously by writing while through colon then enter to actually tell the sensor to read the temperature and the humidity we have to call a method or a function by writing sensor which is the name of the object dot measure then we can print the temperature and the uh, humidity values using the print command but first we have to read these values and put them inside uh, some variables. I'm gonna call the first one temp equals, we use sensor dot uh, temperature, and that actually returns the temperature value in Celsius. Next we have the humidity. Let's put it inside the humidity variable and we can get the value using sensor. I think you guess it, humidity. And finally, we are going to print these using the print command. We are going to write uh, temp, then colon. Next to it, we are going to write the value temp. In the same line, we can print the humidity and add the humidity variable to get the right value. But I want to mention that this sensor uh, takes a little bit of time to read the temperature and the humidity. And if you already know, the while loop is called so fast. It could be called 100 times per second and the sensor won't be able to get the temperature and the humidity so we need to add some kind of a delay by using the uh, time library or the sleep command we can write from time which means from the time library import 
the sleep command so that we can wait. I'm going to put it right here by writing sleep and it takes in the number of seconds that we're going to wait like 3 sec so we're going to get the values each 3 seconds and now we are ready to test our project let's hit the run button and there you go, we are getting the temperature it's 18 and the humidity is 83% because we are in uh, winter I hope you like this project if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.